Okay, good morning to all again. This is a free writing session from OET for you. Okay, so uh, so we are going to discuss uh, Martin Wilson's case not in a minute. So it should be like in a discussion form, like you have to, I will ask some questions you have to tell, then only we can discuss more about uh, the letter, okay? So, okay, so you got a, a case note like this in your writing exam. So what you are going to do first? So you got five minutes reading time and 40 minutes writing time. So you're going to check what is the writing task assigned to you. Okay, that is the first thing you're going to do. Okay, so you can see that what is the first writing task here. It is given that using the information in the case notes, write a letter to the social worker, Miss Jennifer Adams at the Elizabeth Community Health Center, 125 Manopara Avenue, Elizabeth 5098, requesting follow-up care. So it, there is two informations usually in the writing task. That is to whom we are writing. And what is the second one, please? Anyone can tell me. Okay, that's right. So what is the purpose of the letter in this case? Mm -hmm. And what's the exact purpose of the letter in only considering this writing task from here to here? Okay, that's follow up care, yes. So, uh, yeah, so, but uh, please, uh, what I'm saying is you are looking only the writing task in front of you that in, you don't know anything about the top of the case note at the moment, is it? You are in an exam hall. So you are reading first time writing task. So if you are doing like that, okay, so see, you can see that you can find there is a follow up care that is needs to be done and stress that Mr. Wilson's case needs urgent attention. So this point is very, very important. So you got three points from this writing task. One is that you are going to write a letter to the social worker. Okay. The name of the social worker and address is already given. Okay. Second one is follow up care. Okay, third one is needs and urgent attention. Okay, then you you ask yourself why the patient need follow up care. What is the patient's condition? Why patient need urgent attention? Okay, so answer for that question is you have to look and read the case note carefully and find out the answer. And that is your letter. You got the point. Okay. So coming back to that. So you know the introduction that we discussed yesterday. If some of the candidates are not here. Means if 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 it is, you know, if they're first class, they can. Um, I'm going to record all the sessions from now onwards, and uh, I'm going to provide it into the. Uh, web, uh, you know the um, uh, WhatsApp group as well. So what I'm going to do is like you know again we are talking about the introduction one. So introduction should be there should be. So when you see the uh, writing criteria for evaluation criteria for the OED, you can see that. So the purpose of the letter should be immediately apparent and sufficiently expanded. So I don't want you to see below this bar, okay? That's not for you. That is for less than 350 marks, okay? Only you are concentrating about this part of the writing assessment, okay? 
So for the purpose of the document is immediately apparent. So to be become immediately apparent, what you are need to do. What you need to do, you have to tell that the patient, what is the present compliant of the patient? That should be in the introduction. And what is the purpose of the immediate purpose of the letter? Okay, that is the two important things you have to say in the introduction. Okay, so then we are going to see what is, why we are going to write a letter to the social worker and why the patient need urgent attention and why the patient requires follow-up care. Okay, so for that we have to read from top to bottom. So we have five minutes in time. So quickly we are going to read what is the patient's or it's given that Lail Mac even hospital is the hospital that you are working. Okay, patient details is Martin Wilson, 62 years of old, and admission date is the discharge date is the diagnosis is already given, and past medical history, social history, and nursing management and discharge plan. So, how we are going to write a letter from this case note. So you, you know only one thing at the moment that is you are going to write to the social worker, okay? And it, he needs follow-up care. So when you start reading from the first case note onwards, like this admission date, you should think whether it is relevant, irrelevant, or semi-relevant. Okay, so you should think like that and keep it in your mind. And after the five minutes time, you're going to take your pencil and put that. This is relevant. This is semi-relevant. You can take or you can just, yeah, just this one is important or this one is important and this one is important like that. You can make it a note for that. Okay, so and what you're going to do next is should tell me one by one if if you are if you want to participate in this uh, discussion so like from past medical history onwards one line per person tell me whether it is relevant semi relevant or irrelevant for this particular case okay that means heavy smoker 40 cigarettes per day is smoke uh, is relevant that was your point yeah okay next one please yes not relevant okay let's see next one Yes, of course, it is related to that. Yeah, you can think like that. So you can put it as a semi-relevant if you want. You, if you are confused with two ideas, like, okay, this is not going to be the exact one, but you can consider it as a, you can consider it as a semi-relevant point and you can come back to that later. You can, whether you can include, it, it depends on the length of the letter that you are going to write. So you can consider it as a semi-relevant and we will come back and see that again, okay? So the first time you can consider it as a semi-relevant, don't put it as irrelevant because it has some importance because, because it is a medical condition and abnormal condition of the patient, isn't it? So don't consider it as irrelevant, consider it as semi-relevant and we will come back to that, okay? So next one. Okay. 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 Next one, please. I don't know, please. That's what I need you to tell me. Like, is uh, why it is why, to whom you are writing. That is important to think that you are going to write to it. Yes. 
Why? Because you are going to write to. You are we we were writing to a social worker. So social history is the important thing that you are considering in this letter as the main main important point because you are writing to the social worker. So from the social worker thing, you, I already told you the last class that if, even if it is written social history, maybe some of the informations are not social history, maybe medical history. So you have to find out and you know to find out which one is relevant, which one is irrelevant, which one is semi-relevant. And even some of the social histories are not that much relevant. Okay. So you have to read each line and each point carefully and find out whether it is relevant, semi-relevant, or irrelevant. So please tell me the next line is anybody else can tell me that would be highly appreciated. Like Retired two years ago, bookkeeper with Holden Car Company. Is that the information is a relevant one? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So I got all the three options now. So somebody yeah why it is relevant why it is irrelevant depends upon to whom we are writing and what is the patient's condition so we know the condition of the patient diagnosis of the patient is attempted suicide so this also you should keep in mind we already read that okay so over days of mogador okay so that means something related to after retirement we don't know yet. We just considered it as semi-relevant. Okay. So because it is social history, isn't it? It is a social history that may be relevant later. So consider it as semi-relevant at, uh, at present now. So then we will discuss move on. Then we'll find out whether it is relevant or irrelevant. Okay. So lives with wife, Joanne, and adult son is Housing Trust Machinate in Elizabeth. Okay, we can mention that. Yeah, that's fine. So move on, next one. Wife works at calls, son unemployed, two married, Okay, so is considered it as irrelevant? What's your point? Is it irrelevant or semi-relevant? Or what do you want to do that with that particular point? Okay, just consider it as irrelevant at the moment. We can come back and select later as well. Okay, so two married daughters and five grandchildren. Okay, that's fine. Then move on. Regular social drinker. Relevant. Okay. So, again, depression related to gambling addiction? Yes. So, while you are reading, you may know that in the relevant point, also you have some preferences, isn't it? Priorities. Okay. So, you are saying that this depression is important one rather than considering social drinking. Okay, so likewise, you have to think that this is this got priority and this got a little bit less priority. So move on, began gambling two years ago. So that's also related to gambling. So you can club that information later. So has lost a lot of money, including superannuation fund and is in debt. So relevant so it's also so this is all connected points yeah so wife and family previously unaware of addiction very angry but also upset about suicide attempt okay relevant patient remorseful and ashamed is this after or before 
is it after the attempt or before the suicide attempt this is present condition the patient is now after the suicide attempt because the patient condition is said that patient had attempted suicide okay so now he is ashamed of what he had done okay so wants to overcome addiction so the patient has like to overcome addiction okay what addiction they are talking about here yes so this is the one so that means you have to be careful while selecting and clubbing the informations for that particular thing okay used to be a keen lone ball sprayer is that important or not yes and we can use that information you know yep that's right so later when we are writing the paragraph we can use that information consider it as semi relevant has lost friends as a result of gambling yes of course yes yes okay yeah what you had done with this patient nursing management all right so because the patient was with you how many days just think about that 13 october 2009 to 24 october 2009 so that means patient was with you around 10 days okay so in that 10 days what nursing management you had done that is in this heading so you have to tell me which one is important which one is not important all that things okay we can depressed important okay okay mm -hmm. yes okay that's fine so another one diabetes education regarding diet and oral medications important yep wheelchair use from 2010 okay okay so psoriasis okay so the treatment is diprosone and shampoo ionyl t shampoo and poor appetite physical unfit is that important or not okay so that's fine discharge plan so what is the discharge plan for this patient encouragement to maintain antidepressant medication routine as the ssri is established mrs wilson will help with the supervision monthly follow up appointments with psychologist dr brian murphy like our mckeven hospital that is the hospital you are working as a nurse so it's already done so only encouragement to maintain antidepressant medication is important okay then next one social work appointment to be made for gambling addiction therapy yes but that's why we are writing this letter okay so you are writing letter to the this social worker okay and you don't want to mention that that is the purpose of the letter but it is important isn't it okay strong encouragement and assistance to join gambling addiction action group elizabeth community center that's needed is because you know the gambling addiction therapy is that's why we are going to write this letter okay so contact with cute line needs to be encouraged who will deals with cute line
of course social worker can deal with that because quitline is a social service okay so social yes wheelchair required for another week who is going to arrange that wheelchair so social worker can arrange that that's what social workers duties and responsibilities in western world okay so they can arrange that one as well frame advised after this so you can mention that all important point maintain psoriasis treatment do we need to write that one or not okay that means you can just mention the medical thing because yeah the social worker can understand these things but just do in a superficial manner okay not in a deep manner okay so made in psoriasis treatment so we can just club that information with the psoriasis medications isn't it okay so maintain of low gi diet for diabetes again the same thing because we know that the patient is now diagnosed with diabetes as well so you should mention that well in a separate point and club with that information so we can put that information with the diabetes okay encouragement in social sporting activities that's why lawn bowls is important now okay so this we just categorized all the information into three different categories like relevant semi relevant and irrelevant so our point is you got only 45 minutes to do all these things and how you are going to do it and how you are going to plan it and how you are going to write the letter and these all are in a note form and you need to transform it into a sentence and you need to be that sentence needs to be in a well you know structured manner and the paragraph should be continuously following after each other like it should be connected one so there should be some planning before you are writing the letter okay and another important thing is that you need to be organize your letter as well so when you see here the writing assessment criteria is everybody is able to see this one okay so we already said that the letter should have an introduction first that introduction should contain what is the con diagnosis of the patient or present condition of the patient and what is the exact purpose of the letter okay what the receiver has to do for this patient okay so that's why the page uh, the purpose of the document is immediately apparent and the second one we already discussed that sufficiently expanded means the introduction in the introduction we said that something has to do for this patient so the next paragraph should be why the patient required that care okay so that is the answer in the first paragraph while you if you are the receivers then you are going to have that the same feeling so if you read the introduction then you will look for why i want to give this particular care for this patient okay and another important question in the case note where it is mentioned it is an urgent or not and why it is urgent okay it is mentioned in the writing task that it is an urgent letter so where you are going to mention that it is an urgent letter so you should mention that urgency of the letter in the introduction itself okay because when you read if you are the receiver if you are the social worker 
then you will know that when you read that introduction itself okay i need to look after this patient urgently this is an important case isn't it so three points if it is an uh, urgent one so you have to mention that urgency of the letter in the introduction itself so when it comes to the urgency of the letter you have to mention that in the introduction three points one is what is the condition of the patient and second what is the purpose of the letter then the urgency whether the letter is urgent or not okay so that is your introduction then why the patient need an urgent attention is your first paragraph because the patient was admitted because patient had an attempted suicide overdose of yeah so you have to mention so then your story is like you are telling a story about that patient and what happened with that patient and what is the social history of the patient because you are going to write a letter to the social worker so you are mentioning the patient is have an addiction with gambling and he is in debt okay so that should be your first paragraph so here because you are going to write a letter to the social worker the social history is important so in that social history patients the priority is going to gambling addiction and depression related gam gambling addiction so when it when you are so, talking about the gambling addiction you should club informations like he started began gambling 2 years ago after you know you can when when it considered with her 2 years ago we put it as semi relevant club that informations with that 2 year have you got an idea now so this is why he started gambling so after the retirement he started gambling you can club that information that means they put that two different views you know it is already given in the first social history and somewhere in the later in the uh, you know the uh, case note it is given that began gambling 2 years ago both is you can club that is you have to find that relation between the case note okay so then you can see that gambling again began 2 years ago then debt okay so then that's why a suicide attempt was done and now he is ashamed of his condition so he want to overcome the gambling addiction okay so then you said that story you finished about the gambling addiction thing then you are going to talk about his social history just about the social history how he lives he lives with family and what's his condition okay or is he smokes or is he drinks alcohol that all comes under that social history thing okay R write it as a separate paragraph don't club it with the gambling addiction so because that is the main point of your story that you presented it as a well planned one in the first paragraph then you are going to write the next the less priority wise you are going to write in the second paragraph this is the other social history regarding his you know the social history or you can say another thing about his yeah you can directly say about the social history so this all the patient is lives with a sam family and son is if you want you can write about the um uh, debt and or or you can talk about uh, um he uh, regular social drinker and about i think if patient has cigarette yeah see it's mentioned heavy smoker here in past medical history so but it's not actually a medical history it come it, it is related to social history so they are going to mix all the informations even they are putting a subheading here so that is make you so it's a tricky one you should be very aware of that it is not exactly the past medical history but you have to find out which one is medical history which one is social history and you have to separate it and find out which is relevant find out which is semi relevant then you are going to 
write your letter and present it like this like the important information you are giving in the first paragraph then the second priority wise the social history because social history is still relevant because you are going to write the social worker so then again you are going to write what are the information you are going to write in the next paragraph after the social history of course discharge plan but before that yes of course you have to say that what you have done while the patient in your hospital so the first thing you said that the patient's social history is like patient got attempted patient had an attempted suicide overdose of mogadol and then you said all oh, somebody is trying to join at the moment last okay so just admit them and keep going okay so patient is patient had an attempted suicide overdose of mogadol that is the diagnosis in this case so that's why why the overdose of mogadol or why the suicide attempt because of depression related to gambling addiction which started the gambling started after his retirement and he lost all his you know the uh, superannuation funds and he is in debt that's why he attempted for suicide so after that he can say that he is currently ashamed of that situation and he want to come out of that yes so if you said that about all that information the reader will get okay that's why the patient had an attempted suicide so i need urgent attention is that clear or not okay so after okay that's fine the next one the social worker you are going to write the social worker less priority social information like patient is you know like lives with family and uh, uh, son is unemployed and wife works at course you can mention that if you want and otherwise heavy smoker underweight uh, all that information underweight you don't want to mention you can consider it as uh, later because when we talked about the um, when we are going to talk about the diet then you can mention underweight and bmi at that point of time okay so you should club the information in you know the uh, it's a kind of medical information given in the past medical history okay so like that you have to club so the second point the second body paragraph you are going to talk about less priority social informations like uh, smoking um, or uh, drinking alcohol and lives uh, the family situation and all after that you are going to write what happened when the patient in the hospital okay so what you had done you had done patient was depressed and all these uh, medication was done patient's medical history now is important so you can mention that patient had what bronchitis is already there so that is previously there and patient had bronchitis or diagnosed with type 2 diabetes now okay so diet when it comes to diet you should remember there is some point is already missing there that is semi relevant information that is patient is underweight and bmi is 18 so you have to club that information so that is your third body paragraph when you are talking about all the medical conditions and what you had done while the patient is in the hospital okay so so all this is then when what is the next thing you are going to say that why the patient need follow up care you have you are going to explain it like the patient need encouragement with medication so if you want you can club this information with the third paragraph while you are talking about the antidepressant medication as well as other medications for uh, the uh, see here it is antidepressants low 1200 mg and bp is there and diabetes force uh, regular diet and oral medications they are talking about that one so you can mention that okay so you can club that informations with the encouragement of the medication anti antidepressant when you are talking about lovan so you just mention 
he needs encouragement for his oral medication just finish that point that time itself then you don't need to write it again in the conclusion okay then when it comes to next point that is diabetes all that that when it when you're going to talk about diabetes think about diet if you're talking about diet link it with the patient is underweight and needs you know attention for the diet as well and mention that patient's bmi is 18 okay so that is finished the when you're talking about psoriasis again medications are the so you can what you can write so is there anything needs to be maintain psoriasis treatment there is a point here that we already so it's all there in your discharge plan okay so he he needs to continue his treatment with psoriasis with all that medication needs to be continued just one sentence needs to be continued that it's finished so that's all in the third paragraph why we are doing that we need, we have some other important things to ask to the social work, worker to do what is that yes mm -hmm. so he needs to be joined in gambling addiction action group okay so encouragement to do that even if you want you can club this information with the first paragraph itself or you can write it in the last paragraph separately no worries in that okay so the important thing but you have to mention that three important points like one is this okay the another one is we need to arrange an over wheelchair because that is the task of the social worker even if it is less important you need to tell that isn't it then again encouragement for sporting activities so these three points you can conclude your letter all other can club in the letter before itself have you got my point now is it clear okay so this is this is why you are going to write a good letter so when you are presenting like this so when you are going to read your case note then you take each point one by one and differentiate like this and find out whether it is there is a connection or not so then only you can write a good letter okay then again one more point so when it comes to uh, planning so the first five minutes you read this letter next five minutes take your pencil and do what we have done now find out it don't worry about your time do it and plan which one is your introduction what you're going to write just think okay frame a introduction then move on again don't going to write now don't write until you are going to finish your letter in planning session okay so you have to plan this is my first paragraph because that is important in this case gambling addiction okay so that is important why we are going to write this letter because of patient attempted suicide because of gambling addiction all these things is depression gambling addiction is related one that is my first paragraph my second paragraph is going to write is social the next one is social things less priority social information and think and plan and organize that next one i'm going to talk about what we had done to the patient in the hospital like with the medical history included in that letter and what you are going to link some of the discharge things with that paragraph itself so you're going to do that then this is my conclusion these three points i'm going to conclude and i'm telling that this needs to be done from the service from the social worker so when you done that point start writing no worries maybe it will take total of 12 minutes time but when you are going to do like this your writing will take only 15 to less than 20 minutes time because you already done your letter 
you are just writing what you had planned okay there is no confusion you didn't miss any of the information you know that you planned it well and organization is the there is a connection between each paragraph and it is flowing correctly and when you're going to finish that letter so just you're going to finish that letter before the stipulated time that is 45 minutes you're going to finish at around 40 minutes so you got five three to five minutes i'm sure you will get three to five minutes for to read your letter so at that point as i already told you in the last class that you are going to be the receiver so now when you are reading the letter at the end of your writing you are the social worker and you should think like a social worker and you are the receiver you got that letter right now and how you are going to perceive the information in your own letter when you read in that view then you will know that oh this is not right because the social worker don't want this information i don't want this information or you will think that okay this is apt because it's saying all the information correctly and again while reading you just go for the small technique that is pt scan that we already discussed so it's punctuation tense um, you know the um, subject for agreement and capitals articles and uh, numbers that you can check quickly in two minutes time and you can finish your letter so just done keep it your letter ready and out of the examination hall that's it is any case note in any sense you are going to write it so what we need to do this is actually you're going to write in your id examination so the next step is while you are implementing this all ideas you may have trouble to write the exact sentence so sentence structure sentence correction and you may need some of some you know some more um, ideas related for your you know um, implementing or uh, like uh, how you want to write uh, the exact sentence the connection between the sentence and uh, organization maybe you lack the exact organization what the receiver is looking at so that's all we can give you when you are going for the for the classes okay that's the all only thing i can tell you because this is all about writing a letter a good letter for your exam okay is that clear with you okay so that's all about our uh, class for today and i hope you all understand and i all uh, you know uh, happy with our class and we have as this is that's why this purpose is going on like uh, it will end within one or two weeks time the free sessions but the thing is that we have many candidates before as well so all of them go in writing so they usually come to writing correction services and we have individual classes that's like you're going to write a letter we are giving to provide the case notes whatever the case note doesn't mean anything it it depends because you are go not going to see any case note that you are already seen you know you are, that is not the, you will get an exactly different case note in the exam so we will provide a case note and you have to write a letter we are going to discuss that letter for one hour that is our individual sessions is meant to be okay if you want to subscribe that for you can message us in the group then probably uh, we can help you with that and uh, please please uh, share this to your friends if you want like uh, if you are interested or you just uh, tell, tell them to join with our group as well that's the only thing we are expecting from this uh, another session free session all right thank you all for today yep thank you